price on that there was that and then there what was the other thing I grabbed two on that okay oh these uh, thermometers there wasn't a price on that either they're like for a smoker oh six bucks sure that's fine Helmets. There's a whole bunch. This is all racing jackets. All those rolls are gear. Those are gear, like pants and stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, they got spray paint all over them. You think I can get that off of there? I don't know. They're a quarter a piece. A 
still get them just because they're a quarter. If not, I'll keep them and use them. What's this? It's 25. Oh, is it a, it's a rifle scope. Oh, is it brand new? Mm -hmm. Wow. And these are all pre-owned prices. There's your brand new right there. Right there. What do you think? If you want to spend that much, yeah, I'll do it. Because I think it's worth it. I think I am going to leave these little screwdrivers. I don't know if I can get that off of there. That's it. That's what I heard was up here. And that is it. This is a cool room though. It's a cool bed frame too. Let's go find Zena. There you are. I was looking all over for you. I'm ready to go. Well, I mean, if you want me to go get in the line, it's huge. Okay, yeah, go get in line. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right there. Alright guys, so that was kind of a quick one. What'd you think, Zena? Uh, some of the prices were high, but we yeah. found a couple good scores, I think. Lots of cool motorcycle stuff, but yeah, the prices were kind of high, but it's understandable. My motorcycle gear is very expensive. I actually did buy something for myself at the end. I got this helmet for, it was 75. You can see there I paid 81.64, paid for that separately. And I got her to throw in the visors that go with it. There's some additional clear visors. Can you help me pull this out of here real quick, Z? This is a really nice helmet. It's more of an off-road helmet, but it's the same brand that I already wear. It's a really nice helmet. It's almost brand new and it's my size, so it's perfect. I tried it on, it fits perfectly, so very happy with that. So awesome, cheap, 75 bucks for a helmet is crazy cheap, especially for one that's in like brand new condition. Um, and then we got some, I grabbed these. They're a little set of vintage Tupperware cookie cutters for a dollar. We'll put those in the booth. This will be for personal use. I actually just was looking at these online. It's a hamburger press. These may also be for personal use. I don't know. We'll check the pricing on them. These are some, uh, what do you call these? Uh, thermometers to use with your smoker. smoker or your grill, which I don't have one of these, so that'll be awesome. Xena found this Bushnell Banner uh, scope, and it is new, unused. And this thing goes for about 125 bucks. So uh, paid 25 for it, paid up a little bit. Editing Jessica here. Unfortunately, after we got home, we opened up that scope and looked at it a little bit closer and it's the wrong scope. So what we ended up with is uh, worth about what we paid for it, 25 bucks. Um, Zena said it just looks like somebody took out their, uh, put their old scope in the box and wrapped it up just like the new one that was supposed to be in the box and put that on their rifle. So it is what it is. Look closer at things, guys. Sometimes they're not always what they seem. We got this 4K, Sony 4K uh, Blu-ray player. It That's all it does, $7.50, not bad, has the remote. We also may keep this depending on comps because we don't have a four -way, 4K Blu-ray player yet. So, and then Zeta found these. Rail Riders? I'm not familiar riders. with these at all. Rail Riders and motorcycle pants. Oh, Rail Riders. Oh, these are motorcycle pants? They're Thank ultra you. thin. I wonder if they're, um, they might be, uh, rain gear, huh? Adventure khakis. Probably Either way, bike. it's funny that they have the, uh, thrift store price on it. Three bucks and they go for at least 20 or more. Oh, you got, they were three? Yeah. Awesome. Cool, so yeah, those are really nice. I also got this uh, Dejo or Dojo, whatever, how you're going to say that. It's a uh, knife. Yeah, a fixed blade. And it has a um, flint and oh, that's cool. a whistle in it. And uh, sold comps on this, uh, uh, I saw someone sold it for 50 bucks. Nice. So What'd you pay for it? 10? 10 dollars. 10 sells for 50, so very cool guys. So. That was a real quick sale. There wasn't a whole lot there, but we were still able to find some really nice quality items. This is a very nice neighborhood. So um, there is one more sale we're gonna go to today. So uh, let's uh, check it out. We will see you guys there. All right, you guys, so as we were leaving that last sale, we punched in the second sale and lo and behold, it's in the same neighborhood. It's like four or five blocks away. So here we are. Let's go inside, see what we can find. 
This one's a lot slower because the other one didn't open till noon and it's just afternoon, so this one's been open since eight. Interesting. I made a mistake leaving that. Oh, who knows? It's Logitech. Hmm, some kind of remote. I'm gonna look that up. Logitech R400. This is a presentation remote. As over 100%, 15 bucks free trip, so 10 bucks. Peter's book set. What a cute little outfit. So we're checking for her mold number. Looks like it's 10. There's a little number right there. Oh, there's a 44 there also, so I'm not sure which one it is, but she does not look that that uh, unique. And here's her little, what is her name? Let's find out what her name is, guys. Birth certificate. Ariana Christelle. <laughs> November 1st. That's super cool. We're gonna put this in her lap so people see it. Okay, those ones are like Cabela's. Cabela's is like, it's just a cheap house brand. It'd be like Walmart brand, basically. Okay, so no on the Cabela's. Oh, have you looked at these jeans at all yet? What about L.L. Bean? Uh, I think it depends. I don't know. Hold your hand out. I don't know how to know what's good on L.L. Bean. What about Duluth Trading Company? Maybe, there's glasses in the pocket oh, of that. And her little hanky. Oh, nice. Uh, we'll have to look it up. Okay. Levi Strauss. Is that to hold? Is she trying to? Was she trying to straighten out the Collar, things? Probably. That's um. Well, maybe because it's lined, so. Possibly on that one. Yeah. LL Bean. There's some nice looking boots behind you. So no Cabela's. No Cabela's, I don't think. No. What's in the pocket of that one though? There's something in the. Looks like there's something in that pocket. Mm -mm. No. This is made in USA. Okay. Cool. Okay. This is a oh, Cabela's, so no. That looks comfy though. Okay, this one. Ooh, that one looks neat. This is OU, Oklahoma Sooners. That's a kind of cool shirt. How much is that? Any the idea? Clothing says three dollars each. Okay. Well, here, let's make our pile, because we're gonna keep looking. Look at this one. This is Oklahoma City opening night Hornets versus Warriors, signed. Oh, cool. Wonder who it's signed by. I don't know. There's no way to tell really. But. Hornets versus Warriors. This was when we had the Hornets, which these are really hard to find. We have one at home that we haven't listed yet, so we'll get that, I think, and just try it. I want to look at these jeans. 
Real ranch, real ranch. What are these? Oh these feel older. Levi's orange tab. Okay. Missing the back patch. Lands in. Uh huh. Polyester pants. Polyester pants, well, is that what you said? Uh, 1997. Look at those. Oh, snap on. That might be alright. Oh, yes. Yes. Finally found some in the wild. We found some freaking Rockies. We're getting those for sure. Oh, man. More jeans over here. What is this? Look at this crop top thing. Oh. Guess jeans. Oh, what were they? Looks like they were trying to make something. What's this? St steel jeans? Look at this little thing, see? Oh, all these, whatever these are, they've cut them up. Look at this. I'm getting this. Why? It's embroidered. Look at all that embroidery. Yeah, but would you wear it? No, but it doesn't mean other people won't. <laughs> these are little tiny baby Levi's. Look how cute these are. They're so small. Yeah. What do you do with that one? And their orange tab. Um. Uh, uh, no. Sorry, I, my brain wasn't computing. I'm looking for the tag on these. Where do they put the little kid size tag? This little snap. Because I'll need to know what size they are if I'm gonna sell these. How are you supposed to know? I have to flip them completely inside out. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. It's not single stitch, but it's that other type of stitch. There's no tag though. Hmm. It's cool. Man, this is a bummer. I want to buy these, but I have no idea how to size them because they're for babies. Do I just do it and measure them? Try to figure it out? Yeah, sneaking around. Okay. Pardon me? Alright, off to the garage. What do we got right here? Old soap. Books. That's not bad. It'd be nice for personal use. Well loved. A rain gauge. How much are you? Two dollars. Glass. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Maybe.
looking at that. That's a pretty cool motion, though. Thank you. I have to cater for this. Okay. Charger. Yeah. Three to nineteen, holy crap. Seven one eight five seven five five. It's thirty dollars. Brand new twenty six. Okay, we'll get those two. Well, I need that 
Sure. These sell for like $13 each, but you could sell the whole box and be done in one fell swoop. If you said like nine dollars each, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's nine times nine. Nine times ten would be ninety. So it's eighty. Eighty-two. Is that right? No, we don't mind. Eighty-one. We can't math. I think it's eighty-one. You threw me off by asking me to math right now. <laughs> we should not try to math. I have a little basket of goodies. Eighty-one. Eighty-one. I was right the third time. I don't know. I don't really want to mess with batteries. It would be cool though. I know that's the one that you were talking about. Look at, look at us. Show us your exciting face. Your excited face. Gosh, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Rosina. Can you kill a lot of zombies with that? Hell yeah. Quietly too. <laughs> Quietly too. Except for the thunk as it lets go. Yeah, but it's better than a bang. At least it has a toe thing too, so it makes it easier to. I want that so bad. You got 250 bucks spare laying around? I wish. Well, I got a basket full of stuff we can it's sell part, don't you? to cover it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> ask them to make you a break if we want ask, this. Ask them to make you a deal on it. She's right there. She's right there. Ask her. She's dying, but she doesn't want to pay 250. <laughs> we gotta get ready for the zombie apocalypse. She said make her an offer. There's not an edger, right? No edger, right? I need yeah. I need an edger. It's gone. Is it okay? I didn't know if there ever was one or anything. There's not much at the other sale. I did buy one of those helmets though. Yeah. It, it fits me, so I was really excited. Oh, it's the, the same brand I already have and everything, so I know I knew it would fit right. But yeah, the other sale is pretty empty. It yeah. is. It well, is. It, it was small to begin with. Mm-hmm. But I mean, apparently we had a really really big crowd down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. All the Harley jackets. Gone right away. We got there like 10 minutes late. Yeah. Man. Would you do 175? Yeah. Yeah? All right, we'll take it. Yeah. Put soul on it. Or you Zena carry it up to the front. You're getting a crossbow. We're going to be ready for the apocalypse. Does that go with it? The case? That go oh, okay. Oh, I wow, that's fancy. Yeah. So. It needs there's, a wash, but other than that, yeah, it's... Yeah, there's two whole, whatever this... The bow part thing? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's two whole... Extra We're going to have to research a lot. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so we're back home. Unfortunately, the camera died out in the garage. We didn't buy much more after that. I think we might have picked up one more thing. Oh, I picked up a little camera, but we'll show all that to you guys here. We're back at the house, so we're going to show you what all we found. So, Zena is freakishly excited about... It's crossbow. Um, it's kind of a late birthday present, I guess, from me. It does say 250 on it. I don't know if you guys heard or not, but I got it for 175. We have gotten to know the estate sale company owner, um, and she's pretty cool. So she gave us a good deal. It's the crossbow, and it came with Zena. You're gonna have to quit playing with it and help me go through stuff here. What? <laughs> All this extra stuff. This is a like carry case for it. And then there's some more stuff down, accessories and stuff down in there. There's a, a second bow. So very cool. Oh, I think that was a pretty good deal. Zena is overly excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at her. She's got <laughs> it slung on her back and she's about to knock stuff over. Okay, take it out. Take it out. Oh, take out the bucket. We're looking at the other stuff, Zena. We're all done with that. You keep playing, I guess. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff. Most of what's in this bag, I think, is mostly for personal use. This is a pop rivet. Gun. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a gun or not, but it's a hand hand squeeze for pop rivets, which I need because I have something I need to fix. Got some fuses. This is an old school hand warmer. I don't know. Zena might use this in the winter at work. I have no idea. I paid a dollar for that. Got a couple of hole saws that are Milwaukee branded. Well, it says Milwaukee on here. Oh, that one's not Milwaukee. This one is. But those would be nice to have around the house. Those were $1.50 a piece. More fuses. This thing, someone actually sold it for like 20 bucks. And I don't know how correct that is, but I'll have to look into it further. More fuses. I'm probably just gonna do a lot with all these fuses. Got some valve cores. Here's some uh, brand new box of pop rivets to go with the pop rivet gun. Got these just to throw in my toolkit. Got a stripper wheel. 
throw it in your drill. Shouldn't strip paint. Your safety kit isn't there safety scissors? Oh, I don't know. Kit? More fuses. I got this little Klein. This is for a G GFCI. It's an outlet tester. You just plug it in and test. We might keep that for ourselves. These are Edger blades. Brand new pack of three blades for an Edger. Paid five dollars. Um, these sell. I think they were in the twenty-ish range, but they were uh, the selfie rate was insane. This is a little rain gauge for us to use. It's a little glass rain gauge. And that's all that's in that bag. To the next bag. Uh, Zena picked up this hat. It was a snap-on tool hat with a pheasant. Pretty cool. Five bucks. More than we normally pay, but yeah. this is a little Logitech remote. Let me see if I can pull it out of here real quick. This is the very first thing, one of the very first things, whoops, you guys saw me pick up. I just threw the, something on the ground, the receiver for it. So I don't remember what this runs for. Um, I'll put the comp up on the screen for you though. All right. Uh, oh, this is the last thing I picked up after the camera died. An Olympus camera, a stylus epic zoom 170. I said, how much for this? And she said, I don't know, a dollar. Um, the comps for this are pretty awesome. Even um, parts or repair only, the lowest I saw was 25. So, and if it's working and in decent condition, they can go for a uh, hundred and up. I believe is what I saw. I might be lying to you. This is a little Garmin. Garmin GPS. It's another like $20. I think I paid a dollar for that one also. Oh, Something like that. 20 or so. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. This is a Bushnell um, GPS. This one's about 25, 35, somewhere in that range. Lots of um, sandpaper. This will be for me. This will, uh, a lot of different grits. Ultra high grit. Uh, let's do the other bag, Zena. Pause it for a second so All we right. can swap out some months. Okay, guys, so we got a bag full of clothing, which we got to get better about listing clothing. Zena's been doing most of it lately, honestly. So we got, uh, these are the tag shows. These were made in 2006. We got some Levi's 505s. They're distressed. They are stained and stuff, but they should still be about uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks. Zena picked up this coat. Zena, what do you know about this coat? Um, they sell for about 20 25 bucks. We As paid th three dollars for each piece of clothing. Yeah, it was only three bucks. This is really cool. I like the liner, it's like a topical map. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, and it has the North American Hunting Club life member on it. This is in really clean condition. What do we got here? Uh, a pair of orange tab Levi's. It is missing the tush tag, or whatever you want to call it. Look at that, it has a these are from a uh, local thrift store. These are dated right there, 04, 1997. And they are made in the USA. So those should be at least, at least 25 bucks, even with that tag missing. What did you find out on this silly shirt, Zena? Can you help me out here? <sighs> um, I didn't find out a whole lot on it. So there was a bunch of uh, that uh, cold water creek, cold water mm -hmm. creek. There's a bunch for sale on there. I didn't find this exact one yet. I just got it because of the embroidery. So stuff like this where it's really, um, what's the word I'm looking unique. for? Not unique, but detailed? very detailed and um, really high quality. I mean, just it's like- It's got some discoloration right there, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, it's just really, it's got a lot of detail and a lot of embroidery on it. So yeah. give it a try, see what happens. Okay, next we have this LL Bean. What do you find out about this LL Bean here? LL Bean sells easy for 20 bucks or more. Okay. We got to get that off of it. It's got some food. Like this oh, person just took their shirt off and threw it back in the closet with food on it. <laughs> I found these little baby Levi's. I'm going to have to, I could not find a uh, size tag in them. So I'm going to have to figure out how to size them. But they should be at least 20, 25 bucks. These are tiny. Look at my hand is like half of them. So that should be 20 bucks or so. This is uh, Oklahoma City uh, Hornets versus Warriors 2006. Um, when Hurricane Katrina came through, the Hornets were uh, Louisiana. They got displaced here to Oklahoma. So they were kind of a trial run for the state of Oklahoma for an NBA team. So we had them for a little while and then uh, what is it? Seattle Supersonics came down and became the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, and on the back here, there is a signature. It's kind of light. We'll have to see if we can figure out whose signature it is, but pretty cool. I did find this exact shirt. 
online. Somebody has sold it for, I think, $24. This is a made in the USA bandana. Yeah, check, check uh, bandanas, guys. You want to look for uh, them to say, oh, I flipped it over upside down. Made in the USA right here. That's what's important. Um, and there are some that will have a little uh, elephant. If the trunk is up, they sell a little bit better, but that should be like a $8 maybe or so. I only got this because it's 100% cashmere made in Scotland. So That's a really pretty. I figured that would hopefully- Is it two scarves? Oh, did I grab two? Oh shoot, we got two scarves on oh. accident. <laughs> we thought it was one, our bad. What's that one? I have no idea. I only have one hand here. I don't see a tag at all on no, it. No, no tag on that one. So just a generic one, I guess. That's fine. I, the one I wanted was the one that kept me anyway. So. Okay, and I found my first pair of Rockies jeans. I We're in Oklahoma, so you'd think we would, you would find more of these. These are women's Western wear that has been, um, they haven't made these in several years. They went out of business well, quite a while back. So the people that like them will pay, for, pay up for them. Uh, they are made in the USA. Um, I don't know much else on information about these. I'm gonna have to look it up some more, but so if you find these and they're a lot more like bling here, the more decorative they are here, the better, but these are nice, good, clean condition. I don't see any problems with them, so they should still do well. And then this one here is missing its tag, but it is a Lava Blues Maui shirt. It's a really and cool, funky tie-dye look. I've seen it, I saw uh, another one that says it's vintage, uh, in the 90s, the Maui's yeah. blue, so that might be a decent one. All right, a couple more things. Let's. So this set of Ellis Peters books, um, individually, they don't go for much. But if you have 15, 20 books, they can go for 50 to $70. And then we have 18 of them here. They were all marked 75 cents a piece. But I asked if we could get a bundle deal if we bought all 18, and they said, sure, five bucks. So that was a really good deal on those. And then, of course, you can't not get Harry Potter for... They paid a dollar for the paperback. A, d a dollar for... We actually ended up paying a dollar each, because one of them said two dollars, and the other two said a dollar. So, she gave them to us for a dollar each, so pretty good. We need to complete a set, and I think this actually might be the one that we have that the binding is messed up, so this will complete a set for us. So Yeah, just I figured just take off this plastic yeah. cover that's the library one, and all that yeah. stuff will be gone. So, everything here... That we just showed you aside the crossbow i paid for separately the crossbow was 175 we got a deal on that and then all of this here and the two walmart sacks full um that was all 84.50 i believe was our total paid for that so all in all guys i think we did a really good job here today um if you would if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe hit the like button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get notified next time we do a video like this. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you get uh, ready for the zombie apocalypse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>